welcome to my youtube channel so if you're new to my channel thank you for taking the time to watch my video i am so psyched to have you here today and if you find my content helpful please be sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell please don't destroy it just click on it a little bit so you can get notifications when i post videos in the future and to my returning subscribers i'm so grateful thank you for your support so far so let's get into the business of today today i'm showing or teaching you how to track your ovulation or how to know your fertile window a lot of women are not infertile they are not barren they just try to conceive at the wrong time of their cycle. So this is why I've taken it upon myself to illustrate to you or to show you the best time to conceive using this calendar that you're looking at on the screen. So please follow me closely. And if you have any questions, any doubts, any fears, anything, you can just um, drop your questions in the comment section below and if you want to criticize me maybe because you are better at this subject than i am please criticize me constructively because we men we should just try to build each other up and not tear each other down so let's get into it so without further ado let's get into explaining what ovulation is all about ovulation is the release of a mature egg now, this um, mature egg is released from the ovary. And the ovary is a part of the reproductive system in the female species that is responsible for producing eggs. Now, um, ovulation occurs just once in your cycle. And um, only one egg is released in each cycle. So, and um, this phenomenon occurs so that should the egg come in contact with any sperm cell fertilization will occur conception takes place and then new life begins and um, that's how everybody in this world came to be so um, that's just that about ovulation so i want us to get into the actual business of today which is how to track your ovulation and how to determine your fertile window so the length of the cycle in the female species can differ from one woman to another um, in some women the length of their cycle is 35 days 34 days 33 days 30 days but um, the length of my cycle is actually 28 days so I'm going to use a 28 day cycle to illustrate um, how to track your ovulation and your fertile window in this video if you have questions about your own fertile window or your or your own time of ovulation, please leave your questions in the comment section below. So take a look at this calendar for the month of April 2021. What I want to point out before I get into this illustration is that most women believe that you should always get your period at the end of the month, but that is not the case. We don't track um, um, somebody's period based on months ovulation is um sorry your period is calculated according to your cycle according to the length of your cycle so it's possible for somebody to see their get their period at the end of the month of january and then they do not see that period throughout february until beginning of march because of the fact that february is very it's a very very short month and also because their cycle could be 33 days, 35 days. So I'm going to use um, the month of April to illustrate um, your fertile window or my fertile window so you know how to calculate yours. So um, you can see that before you is a calendar. And in this calendar is a 28-day cycle. So you can see that the days of the month of April are all written in black print except for days that fell on sunday and on saturday and then the red print the numbers that are written in, written in red print in superscript are the days of my cycle so now let's assume i got my period my last period on the third of april that means that third of april is the first day of my cycle 
The 4th of April is the second day of my cycle. The 5th of April is the third day of my cycle. The 6th of April is the fourth day. So you continue to number it like that until you get to the 30th of April, which is the 28th day of my cycle. So now, standard, you know, um, it's standard that your ovulation occurs 14 days before your period is due. So, um, you can see from this um, cycle that I've written down from day 1 to day 28 that my ovulation should take place on the 17th day of April 2021 because that day is just 14 days away from the day of my period. So even if you have a 30 day cycle or a 35 day cycle, your ovulation day is the date that is 14 days away from the day you are getting your period. Also, if you're not too sure about how to calculate um, um, your cycle, the length of your cycle, then I suggest that you monitor yourself for a period of six months until you come up with a pattern that is constant. Then you should not attempt to use this calculation. Um, so when you monitor yourself, you should know that your cycle starts from the first day you see your period, from the first day you get your period, to the day before you get another period. That's one cycle. The day you get another period is the day another cycle begins. So that's what I want you to note. And then 14 days, on the date that is 14 days to the day you get your period, is your ovulation day. So your, your ovulation day is 14 days away from the date of your period that's when you get your ovulation so now let's go into the issue of your fertile window remember that i said um 14 days to the date of your period is the day of your ovulation now if you check three days before that day and three days after that day those are the days of your fertile window those three days before the ovulation day and three days after the ovulation day plus the ovulation day make up your fertile window. Three days before and after your ovulation, you are fertile. But the day of your ovulation is the day when you are most fertile. Because of the fact that sperm cells can survive for three to five days in the reproductive tract of a woman, if any of these sperm cells survive between three to five days, one of them can fertilize the egg on the ovulation day because they were already there before the day of ovulation. And then conception will happen and then new life begins. And um, even when they are introduced into the um, reproductive tract of a woman after ovulation has occurred, the egg can still be fertilized 12 to 24 hours after ovulation has occurred. So unlike sperm cells, the egg can only survive for 12 to 24 hours after ovulation has occurred. And um, it's only in rare cases that you can see that the egg survived for up to for more than a day. And when this happens, it can really cause the woman to lose her pregnancy because the egg is no longer of a superior quality. So the pregnancy, the um, conceptus, that is what was um, the result of fertilization can be lost. So on the day you are most fertile is two to three days before ovulation, on the day of ovulation, and a day after ovulation. Another method you can use to track your ovulation is through observing your cervical mucus. Um, that is, um, there's this discharge that is being produced by the female reproductive organ. It looks like um, raw egg white. That is the part of egg that is not yellow, the part that is just um, slippery. So on the day you find out that your own mucus resembles um, that part of raw egg white and is quite stretchy, just know that you are very fertile that day and you can go ahead to try to conceive. And I advise you to um, include prayers, you know, as you are trying this out. So um, now you know what to do with this information. I've come to the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did please give my video a thumbs up 
subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on the notification bell so you can get notifications when i post more videos in the future thank you for watching bye bye